Hey, welcome to Steel Division 2, a major freak. So, uh, beginning of my fourth week, I think, uh, playing Steel Division, I think. Um, it's been, <laughs> it's been uh, quite an interesting ride. Uh, let's see now. That was on, I think, around my birthday, 27th, I think. Let's see now. What's this? Fifth battle. Uh... Yeah, I think I've been playing for a month now. Almost a full month. Hmm. Interesting. Anyways, sorry. Um, right, so I've gotten to a place, uh, if you've been following the evolution videos, of trying to do exact income. And it was great. Uh, I was having fun. Discord people were yelling at me, um, <laughs> throwing the book at me, and I was ignoring them happily because eh, the medium AI is very reactive, and I was able to fool myself into thinking, ah, I've got it on at the back foot by uh, being smart about my uh, deployment. <laughs> yeah. Um, so this is... Uh, this is really dealing with hard AI and I needed heavy hitters and I liked it. It's just that I wanted to try another division and see if this concept, which was working, uh, would translate pretty good to another division that had say more artillery, uh, very accurate artillery. This in real life, this, this is 20, they're both 20 kilometer range, whereas most World War II ranges for about 11 kilometers. Let me get some water here. So, uh, I was like, great, I'll just translate it. So I pretty much transliterated it. And, and this was the abortion. I uh, got my ass handed to me. Um, A, because I went to my draft version of Pan's Grenader and just transliterated it and forgot to set it to Juggernaut. <laughs> so, yeah, I kind of screwed myself there. And I believe this is all exact income. Um, exact and then exact and then, you know, whatever, right? So I was like, yeah, no worries. I was playing Juggernaut and I was like, yeah, no worries. I'll be able to forward out that. <laughs> just screw myself. But the problem is I don't have anything heavy hitting in the beginning, unlike, uh, um, I'm sorry, uh, unlike, unlike the, uh, the IS, um, the IS-2, I think, uh, this sucker, you get in the, you can only take it in phase A, I believe. And I had some really fast panzers, which were great. Um, and I had, look at all these Look at all these packs. Yum, 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 yum. Um, but I went to here and was like, all right, okay, so I got two cards of packs. I got a 50 millimeter. Really like the 50 millimeter, by the way. I've been watching my replays and I'm like, oh, they do so good. Um, so I definitely want to see if I can see if I have some. I think I do. But if I don't, I'll, I'll put it back in because they're beautiful little weapons. Um, and you can get them, you can get them with horses. So they're like 90 miles, uh, kilometers an hour, uh, getting to target. So, oh yeah, getting in position. Perfect. And they take out so much stuff. It's like yummy. Um, anyway, so I didn't have anything heavy hitting and it just, I, everything just collapsed in my face. Um, I wasn't, wasn't able to hold a certain sector. And I'd been getting gone. I had been getting complacent about 
placing it, uh, you know, one or two units in a spot and the medium AI wouldn't, it would just not attack that area. But the hard AI will just roll over anything. Uh, that's just a, you know, a silly couple of units guarding it. It just rolls right over and then it'll just reinforce its, uh, its breakout. If it breaks out, it'll reinforce it. So yeah, unlike medium AI, so totally raffle stomped just ridiculous um i tried the earth trapping and the military police i don't have snipers uh in this division and it just bleh, i didn't like it at all uh wasn't able to capitalize on anything uh spending my, all my points on stuff didn't have what i needed uh my air power was weak and unfortunately during the replay uh, my mortars and artillery just couldn't keep that like the cat kept coming back that that AA in the middle of the map uh, where I not protected very well it it was sitting in the middle of the map and nobody could kill it it was just like so annoying um, <laughs> and I wasn't using my air it was just falling apart mainly, mainly because I was panicking because I wasn't able to get heavy hitting long range guns and the enemy could and it was just fell completely apart um, and then I got to this point after going after after that catastrophe i was like oh god um i gotta rethink my uh my way of uh way of doing things so i went to here and i still had there at strappen uh, i still had the um i was i believe this is still exact income <laughs> um It's just, here I go, I put it in B, B phase, and do I have anything? <laughs> All right, somebody trying to help me. Anyways, uh, so yeah, um, same kind of stuff. I've just put uh, the habit hitters in B phase, and I was, and I was, uh, And I was silly using a, a fast uh, load vehicle where I could have put in something with a bit more tank. Uh, I went, I and I, I believe I put it in harm's way and it got potted right away, unfortunately. But yeah, I've got IG 18s. I was thinking of IG 33s. Um, the problem with the IG 33s, I learned when I put put them in. Uh, I'll talk about that later. But yeah. This was pretty good. Um, I ended up losing these a lot. Um, these, I think I lost all these early tanks. I just tried to use them in combat situations and uh, I didn't do it smart. Yeah, I got hosed. Um, B phase, decent amount. I like it. It's just what I decided on was I was just going to bring the earth strap in, in in phase C uh, with these guys. Um, I, I've been I've had bow bashers since I almost started playing. I believed it was just hooked around the idea that I needed artillery observers to get better. No, it's just so this is it's pretty much a useless card all the time I've had it. I was just you know I liked it didn't have any reason to take away. And yeah, and eventually broke out of that one. And this is my fourth version with the IG-33, which I didn't know only has 750 meters range for its uh, half the range of this for the heat. So this, this got a 1500 meter range heat round and this is, this is half that. Um, what? So it might be long range heavy explosive, but pff, pff, not. 
So this didn't last very long. I was very shocked um, about that. Uh, same kind of deal. Sorry, that's my Discord. Um, I really need to shut that down when I'm recording. But, uh, anyways, so still got, got this kind of idea. I tried this. Um, pretty much the same kind of idea, but at the end of this battle, I was like, screw this. Oh, you notice I got rid of the uh, um, these guys. Uh, th they're great, but I'm either going to go with these or I'm going to go with these. And for now, I'm going with this because it can it can deal with uh, infantry if it rushes. Like if it rushes forward, it can take care of trucks and then the infantry that might spill out of it. Whereas the other one, eh, it can, but I prefer the pew pew. It's fun. Uh, Attack Power Gaming really uh, suggests I use the, the other one that I took away, but this one's fun for now. I'm sure the other one's more efficient. All right. And then I go to this one. I've gotten rid of the bow basher. I've gotten gotten rid of the MPs. I've I'm keeping the earth strapping. Uh, basically because I can only get the earth strapping in phase A uh, for this division, and uh, and I and I don't buy them till phase C. If I need probing, if I want to probe, I'll use them because they'll run run away uh, easily and they won't get killed. They won't be eliminated very easily, so they're they're a useful scout. Uh, but other than that, I just ignore them. Um, as you can see, uh, I've gotten rid of the IG thirty three. Um, yeah, these are and I and I learnt yesterday or the day before the power of dropping this off and using using this as and i can use this too um use the the half track as a mobile anti-infantry unit and it's 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 glorious um yeah it is the the power of I believe it's it might only be 750 meter range, but there, it's a beautiful thing. Behold, when you're when you really need the help, it's it's great. Um, the reason I like this is because if you've got it in woods, it can't be just nuked by a bazooka. It has to be shot at with either hell. You know, it, it can't be taken out um, with. Uh, it might be able to be taken out. Actually, I haven't tried it yet. It might be. Like, it could be considered a vehicle. It might be. A bazooka might get taken out. Anyways, yeah, I will discover that. Um, but yeah, dealing with force is very frustrating. Uh, I thought, oh, great. Uh, I could put these guys in heavy forest on the edge of a light forest and be able to shoot into the light forest because it's got the range and they're great but they're just so damn squishy um the attrition on these guys i was just trading horrendously and that's why i, I like the earth trapping because at least you could probe find the enemy and then deal with them um yeah these guys they would kill a lot because of their their weapon rate these guys are actually MP44, and they'd be perfect in light woods. It's just they just die, even if they're in heavy cover and the enemy's in um, yellow cover. It's just because the AI on hard will send more than one unit, and overwhelming firepower means these guys will, you know, slowly get attrited, and then you've just lost. I just had them in... Um, in A phase, didn't work, but now that I've got them in B phase, I've got more of them, uh, and it, it's a smarter, smarter tactic, I mean, we'll go back and, uh, yeah, that attrition is starting to really, really dawn on me as oops, right, um, okay, I've got them in B,
and yeah, see, I've got them in A here, and probably, yeah, I had them in A as well. And yeah, I learned very early on that, oops, um, yeah, because hard, they'll, hard AI will go through the forest a lot. And yeah, they just get a trade so quickly and it's like, oh man, all six of my guys are gone. What the, so yeah, it's a, it's a tough one. Um, and of course, along the way, uh, in the last couple of days, I've just, there is no way I can do exact income because sometimes you just don't need anti-air and you don't really need mortars you need something heavy hitting um and i realized that i needed an a phase heavy hitter airplane because sometimes i need that fast attack they don't have any aa on the field that's flak uh, this guy's medium um so it can take um light anti-air you know the machine gun anti-air not the flak and it could just toast tanks it's great and it's fast and it gets in and out um and it's helpful um sometimes i don't have it uh, i've got to wait till b phase for this i can hold out um these guys are great the pack 40s are just awesome i actually don't have the uh, like i said i don't have a phase 50 millimeter You know what? These things are great. And I originally was using them against infantry. I'd pair it up with a pack 40. And this would have equivalent almost range. And I would be like, great. Uh, almost the range of a pack 40 to be able to deal with the infantry um, that the pack 40 can't and then it was fun because this the heat rans were great against um early game rushes by light armor right like recon armored cars and stuff like that <laughs> the m8s it was great against m8s it could deal with m8s pretty well and yeah, so I really fell in love with this unit. But honestly, the 50 millimeter have just been just one. I get six of them. Holy crap. Uh, okay. Kind of hoping to put them in horses. Uh,. Right, I uh, don't need you and horses, thanks. Uh, we'll do, I don't know the advantage of using this. I honestly don't. Uh, is it tougher? Like, I don't get it. Like, why, why give us the option for something like, is it just history? Historically accurate kind of thing? Um, 35 and 70, whereas you can just go Google and right <laughs> it's like uh yeah so let's add that go back go in here and now i don't worry about 
um, exact income, I can go, great, I'm going to add you and not worry about it. I'll worry about it in the sense that I don't want to spend too much in one tab when I'm playing, deploy too much of one thing and then not have enough income to to get on field what I need, right? But a after having played with exact income, I can go, okay, I can probably get away with adding half of those to the game in phase A and B, and then I I'll have left over. That's my thinking at least. There we go. That's looking better. Horses. Um, how many horses do I have now? Yeah, I'll uh, I'll definitely trade for that. That'll get me uh, ten kilometers more an hour. Hell yeah. <laughs> I like the idea of grenades, but that's all you've got for close range work, right? And it'll take it out, but the idea of using something so multi-purpose, like long range, and this is not a short range, and then a short ranging, uh, multi-purpose is great, but then again, I've got specialized, so why would you take something like this? It just doesn't make sense. So, pens and grenadiers, plain, didn't use them. Um, yeah. And yeah, I, I, I can wait till phase C for tanks. I am incredibly leery of tanks. Um, now, one could argue that if I don't use them, I won't get good at them, but, oh yeah, it, when I need them, I'll use them, and then I'll get good at them, uh, it's just that the mistakes when I'm learning early on, if I lose a tank, that's a lot of investment, and I've just thrown away something in the early game um, and I'd rather wait till later to, so I can play with these tanks in phase C, enjoy them, make the mistakes, learn that way, then yeah, it's uh, it's not a good thing to lose the game because he just lost a tank early on uh, to something stupid um, where, you, where you couldn't afford it. it uh, it's not a enjoyable game play experience to go, oh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, and these are, uh, these are good. Um, I used to think, oh, why would you use a Stug when you can use a Panzer IV? But they're actually better, uh, except for the turret, which is great on the, on the, pa uh, on the, sorry, blah, 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 the Panzer IV. But the Stugs are good. I mean, they're, they're pretty good compared, comparatively. So yeah, I'm not complaining at all. It's just it's, they they can't play uh, kissy kissy chase chasey chasey kissy kissy uh, with other tanks because they'll just get flanked and boom dead. Um, so yeah, learning the micro on these, learning to go with combined arms, and that they're just mobile pin pillboxes. Don't uh, don't throw them against. Uh, against something because yeah the enemy has lots of bazookas and uh panzerfass and yeah boom yeah so far i like it um in b phase i've learned to have medium short long range right and this is uh mp26 mg 26s or can be fired at minimum range whereas the uh the ones with uh, MG 34s, MG 42s, sorry, MG 42s uh, have a minimum range; they can't fire below. So, yeah, this would be good enough. Um, and I'd rather have something with anti-tank 
and then the pioneers which don't have anti-tank i need i need uh in later games i need uh, anti-tank ability because there's going to be a lot of tanks running around so yeah um i was counseled not to use flame warfers for ai but i don't want to handicap myself into th not practicing flame waffers um i'm not interested in playing the ai i'm interested in training myself to know the maps and know how the units work and not having the flame waffers which are super important would be kind of dumb so i'm going with flame waffers even though they're not ideal for using against the ai because god damn they they yeah <laughs> they're really close range and yeah uh when you go close range with uh, the ai you, know, you play the atrit game so the stug uh commander i in b they kind of useful for getting the bonuses places where my command chain is already set up and i want to push and this so this is good and i've got a tank so that's the idea of, to me of tanks being able to support um and not get exposed to danger these guys are great uh, i'm beginning great fun um <laughs> just awesome fun just uh pushing as hard as i can uh, the flanks and just pushing just being very aggressive with these um taking out because the ai will just yolo right into its face and unfortunately i yoloed this a bit too far <laughs> and got it uh, uh right into a kv's face that didn't last very well that i mean uh, didn't end up yeah anyways it wasn't pretty <laughs> um nervous about the lack of because i've just when i do early game i just put panzer grenadiers in but these guys are pretty good they've got the uh, panzer fast panzer faust and they've got all the stuff you need um two mg42s um rifles uh yeah it's it's a big squad so they are very helpful especially when you really need it i'm learning that you can't fall back sometimes when you're in buildings if it barfs you out the front door and you get stuck it bugs out and it won't run away they'll just freeze in animation in front of the building as they're being shot at by enemies in front of the building so yeah it's unfortunate but uh it's a learning experience just to uh, figure out how to deal with it um Yeah, close combat for anti-infantry. Big learning experience for that one. Um, and of course, uh, just not liking earth strapping. Um, just I'm just not an earth strapping kind of guy. Um, I guess I'm not aggressive enough yet uh, to really use them in A or B phase yet. They're just something to use in C, hypothetically. Panzer Shreks, having backup Panzer Shreks, yes please, backup MG42s, they they get taken out there. They become high value targets for the enemy. Um, so they don't last long once they're targeted down. So replacements are, are most welcome. And of course, pack 40s replacement, <laughs> big time. Um, and lots and lots of artillery. Um, I'm going to punish the AI in phase c if i get there um being aggressive now usually ends the game before or the couple, first couple of minutes of phase c so and i'm loving the idea of being able to call a uh, heavy hitter airplane in the beginning if i sense they don't have ai and this uh yeah it's tough it's very good resilience so it'll be great uh Okay, um, 
So that's the preamble to the replay you're going to see, going to see. Whenever I hear YouTubers say gonna, I'm like, really? <laughs> Just do it myself. Just laziness. So we going in with, this is what I use for this replay. And it's, it's a victory um, for sure. Um, the notable stuff are the uses of this in phase B um, and my frustration when I discover it it's not shooting at uh, tanks from far away uh, that was a shock um, yeah basically it was the joy of being very aggressive with these um, it really it, it was a game changer once I was extremely aggressive and I took out the AI's uh, flanking trucks and then they just charged in the middle and I was able to get a foothold after having used this very aggressively. So um, we'll go and uh, we'll go and watch the video and this is what I've got. So I believe I be in recording the video at the end of phase A so you don't see the initial rush but in the replay you will um, and you can watch the replay of course yourself but uh, yeah just uh, fourth version I'll bring that up so I can look at it while I'm watching the video got two monitors Which one is it? Yeah, it's this one. All right, here we go. Uh, let me uh, back out of this so my computer does not whine. Uh, <laughs> the fan goes crazy. All right, so yeah, see, I've pushed all the way up. Um, I'm doing, I'm just like, woohoo. <laughs> I don't realize that there's only, there will, uh, for most of the game, um, there will, since I cut off the reinforcement road, there's only one machine gun right here. I could have taken it, but as you can see, uh, it's double tick right now. Um, I think that's double tick. I think when it's six and 18, that's triple tick. I don't know. Um, I don't know the terminology yet. So that weapon is jammed. That's, uh, that is, there's a, there's a really good AA either back here or back here. Could be both places that aren't. These are wimpy. But yeah, it the flat just gave me headaches. Um, yeah, here we go. So I've got, I've moved my uh, IG-33 truck, uh, the truck that... Uh, supply truck over to my mortars and I did the same on the other side because I had two of them and that was a bounce from here Bravo, on the come hill. On. I give a command while I'm paused uh, and I hate doing that it freaks me out because if you do that um, usually get a replay bug, but luckily I did not incur that. Now I'm checking the Pandas Rex. Uh, let me turn the volume down here. 
I'm checking the Panzer Shrek's uh, distance, wondering where I'm going to hit that KB. Uh, but I believe the gun on the hill takes it out. And you can look at me, just look in that air tab, going, "God, I, I want, I want, I want to have, I just want to hit it right now." But gun on the hill takes it out. It's a pretty good angle to that area. I remember to unpause before I do that. So the mortars won't damage it. We'll take it off, but yeah. I haven't killed a KV yet with mortars. Maybe just I'm just unlucky with uh, my rounds. So you can see this flak right here on the edge of the wood right here. Um, just ready for any infantry that get in range. Not sure if uh, it would be vulnerable to a pat bazooka. Might be. So, phase B. I, I've learned the beauty of getting those, they're, they're squishy, getting them back in a cover, waiting till something comes, then going forward. Love Ackle Flowers, Ackle Flowers, Afclares in churches. Uh, they're great. Anything else put in there becomes an instant target for everything around it. Now there's an AA somewhere and I want to find it in order to punish it. And unfortunately, I didn't have the 120 for that plane. I was just itching for it, but of course, I'd spent all my income the previous turn. Just one shy. I think it was firing APCR, that pack, unfortunately. I need to learn to turn it off. I only turn it on in, when in need. Now I go... Probably thinking, can I think I hit the eye to see if the uh, eye can penetrate it, but that still cannot Spare penetrate it. I don't think. I swear I pressed eye. Maybe the the info box doesn't show up. I I think it. I don't know. Anyways, you'd think it would have been recorded. So I'm a bit frustrated. I can't bring on the air. Trying to take out the KV. Yeah, it's just not cooperating. And yeah, I'm, uh, the Bobashers are just too damn squishy. And all they are are radio. I just would put them in places where I don't have a leader. Uh, usually up here. See, I've put two MGs there. That's to deal with the middle rush that the AI like to do. Uh, the previous game that just raffle, got raffle stomped. So having two MGs there just prevents them from getting too carried away. It won't prevent it, them from, it from uh, the hard AI from trying. Um, so, yeah, I get kind of freaked out. Um, this flak or something, I think, gets targeted. And the leader almost gets potted. And I tend to... I take a bit fretting about that. Do I send an infantry to that? Yeah, I don't have enough for that. It's like, I don't have the income. What the hell? I want to buy something. Ah! And it's funny because I think that's the only mortar they've got on field. And it just keeps harassing me. <laughs> it's pretty funny. I do like the mortars. They are useful. Um, uh, 
And I kind of panic for a bit and then realize, wait, I don't need to panic. This, it'll be okay. It, I, you know, it's not being targeted. So it, it won't be hit again, you know, that cross one's fingers. But this one, I'm like, should I unload it? Should I unload it? What do you think? Should I unload it? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that looks pretty bad. Uh, the curve, it's going to miss it, but I'm, I'm still nervous. I, I uh, You get superstitious about uh, the game, the game's bias for, uh, ooh, look, an accidental round into the face. <laughs> and your unit gets completely obliterated. Really? RNG, huh? But uh, <laughs> it's... It's mostly subjective. It's 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 pretty good at not uh, not cheating. It just sometimes it feels like it when you got a bad roll. So I'm like everything's good. I just wait 13 seconds and I can get this plane. That's that was my thinking. I believe it was like I can get. Now what can I have? And I was thinking, can I afford both the eighty-eight anti-tank and the plane? And I was trying to do math in my head, and I could have actually gone AFK because I'm not moving the camera. Anyway, so I kind of ignore this area. Um, I've got my. Uh, armored car safe so I don't have to worry too much about it getting potted yeah I must have gone AFK for a second yeah and this location was great uh, I just eventually uh, backed it out uh, once I saw something heavy hitting coming and this location this panzer grenader's location once it lights something up that mortar would just keep punishing that area yeah, it's it's unfortunate. Um, attrition just slowly whittles your forces down. So I'm really glad I've got uh, Phase C Panzer Grenaders because they're really useful. And because they're really useful, it gets punished. We got nine seconds till I get... And I, I'm just checking with everything. It's like, everything okay? And I'm like, could I push? And I'm like, uh, how much stuff? And then I just briefly think about it, but don't. Reflexively. But there's only one MG there. I could have taken that flag. And the bow basher. Get it out there. And into there. Yeah, my mortars have supply a supply truck. It's great. That tank's being it's bouncing. Is that gonna bounce? Got it. And one second to go. Pausing. There. I can afford. It's like I'm just so frustrated. It's like what the hell? Then I notice this this house being destroyed, and I'm like, whoa. So I'm like, what am I doing? What am I doing? How am I gonna deal with this? How am I gonna deal with this? I'm like, okay, wait a minute. What can I buy? And I was like, ooh. And I believe I think I think the plane takes it out, or does or does my pack right here? I th think it's my plane. Nope, nope, I think it's the pack. Yeah, it's the pack. Yeah, the problem is once you commit, um, uh, your attack, ground attack planes usually need 36 to 4,000 meters. Uh, 3,600 to 4,000 meters uh, range in order to do a proper attack run. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh. Hell yeah. Nice. Now, I'm not sure what's, what bounced. 
it'd be interesting to see what killed it. But yeah, I'd like to uh, I'd like to go in the replay and get to that minute and uh, see if uh, and, and track the pack and see what the pack does because I'm not sure if the pack bounced. Yeah. Uh oh. Did I back that out yet? Oh, and this is when I discover it doesn't have the range. I'm like, what the hell? That you're right there, and it says out of range. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, I was like, no, what? You're kidding me. And I was like, what, 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 what? And I was like, 2000. Wait a minute, no. But then I realized, wait, my my idea 18s have what? What's going on here? So, lots of frustration. I was like, okay, what the hell? <laughs> I was like, wait, that's IGE? And then I was like, wait. 1500. And I'm like, is that a game bug? It's like, how can that be? But then I was like, okay, I think the IG33 sucks. <laughs> that's note to self. Remove that card. And I was like, okay, I need to uh, move that sucker somewhere get it dealt with because that's unacceptable and yeah you you heard me talk about uh, you know, and you saw me replace the IG-18 uh, uh, just a misclick um, I'm like god damn it um, but yeah uh, the 50 millimeter anti-tank instead of the IG hell yeah and then I can just support, I can just support it with uh, an MG. Kaboof. Yeah, when, it, when my decoy gets shot at by just machine guns like that, I'm like, woohoo, bring in that attack. <laughs> a ground attack oh yeah hell yeah and I'm like I'm thinking about the range of that I'm like okay that 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 side's fine all right then I go should I get a tank what should I get what should I get yeah infantry I'm like oh not in range of the commander. Crap. So I deal with that. But I believe I deploy some infantry. Like, uh, pair them up. Like, medium range. To get one of these. Or at least pair them up. Like, one, one to one, right? And if I'm going to deploy infantry in an area, I'll send, like, one of each type. Watch me not. Yeah, knowing the maps and knowing where to put your fears to get yeah I'm sorry uh, to get the uh, the chain up do you get that sweet uh, bonuses here we go I find that double clicking here will get me centered on uh, my plane much easier than trying to copy your course cursor over and scroll wheeling it So I'm like, okay That's a flak that needs to die And I think that's another flak right there Not sure, but yeah, that's definitely a flak So I'm like crap Oh, yeah, and this 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 is awesome. I actually uh, focused the replay on that. I focused my replay uh, viewing on that IS-122 and just 
watch that plane come. I thought the plane would come from another direction, so I wasn't exactly watching it come in for the attack round. But yeah. <laughs> so that bounced, but it shot and killed it anyways. It's so bizarre, isn't it? It's like the 50 millimeter will bounce, but then it starts firing its other weapons and the tank dies, which is really weird. It's like it's one is the 50 millimeter using the frontal armor and the machine guns are firing at the top you know i don't know it, it now that i've seen it happen twice in the same game i'm like that's weird I'm trying to figure out where to put this sucker and i th i think i just leave it there honestly it's doing good work i think i back it up do I back out? No. Anyways, whatever. Okay. Everything's working. Whoa. And I go, ah, KB! <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no, we are going to stop. <laughs> it gets really interesting. Um, that KB goes, comes right into the face. And I'm worried about it being shot the panzer grenades being shot at um so i move it back but yeah that kb comes up close real close and personal i think i take out that mortar but another one gets spawned right away so, yeah. So we got 320 points. Really need to spend some points. So I'm like, right, I'll set up my uh, my command chain on the left side. And I can get another one, place it in that building. Or, yeah, I usually place it right here, right, right, right there. But since I'm so far forward with my aggression, it's like, wow. All right. Ah, wait, now, you'll notice I don't go uh, fall back. I move. Otherwise, it'll pop out the front of the building and just get stuck there. So it's now I can go fall back and it'll start to run. So yeah, getting getting them out of the building before they get pinned down. That's what you want to do. So I'm like, what the hell do I buy? Like, there's been no issues with air. So I'm like, all right. I need another eye just to just to find out we gotta we gotta worry about that AA. Where is that AA? Unfortunately I don't oh yawn. I don't really have any artillery until phase C to hit that AA, so my ability to use my um, ground attack is kind of stymied that's why i haven't spent all my points it's just ah uh, you know but i've got to so i'm like okay okay let's get real so i'm like okay i'll put the aquaflar uh afclair oh my god afclair um into that um first building so i can see stuff coming down that road and not have it shot at by the enemy Right. So this is to test whether that location is going to be where uh, that A is staying or whether it was on the move. And unfortunately, I, I can't mortar that position from where I'm at, unfortunately. Yeah, 
and I, okay, it's not, it hasn't moved, so great. And I'm like, can I hit it? Damn it. I'm way too far away. But I can hit that. And here comes the KV. Yeah, so I get kind of really interested in this KV right now. <laughs> can you blame me? And I'm like, uh-oh, uh-oh. I want to pull back, so that back up over there, back up. Pointless against that thing, but whatever. So I'm like, oh, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> it's kind of freaky. So, so far, so good. Yeah, the ID-33 is great because it's it's shooting at those inf that in the infantry when they're trying to cross the, cross the road into the forest. So it is holding things back, but... Not enough for me to go, hey, I really want to keep that card. Nope, get rid of it for something else. Now, I'm, I, I was thinking, can, is there any AA on that side? Can I attack that KB with a um, with an aircraft? But uh, I, I was too scared. It was like, I am so scared of anti-aircraft just right, annihilating my airplanes. And I, you know, I didn't want to do it, so very hesitant. But if you look at the replay, there was nothing over here. I could have easily taken it out and circled the plane over this way and back out. Yeah. Just, uh, just being careful because, you know, <laughs> yeah, what could be hiding in that forest? I did not know it was only one MG. So I'm like, okay, so how do I, how do I protect my MG42? Because I know it's got a minimum range where it won't fire. I'm like, what do I do? What do I do? So I think I bring, yeah, the Peck 88 and I'll usually stick it. I hate that sound because I don't know what it's they're saying in German. I'm like, what? <laughs> Speak English, damn it. All right. So, yeah. At this this point, when I go, no problem. I've got Panzerfaust, Panzer grenades. No worries. Little did I know. It's not always an insta-kill. Spoiler alert. So I'm like, uh, do I need to worry? And I'm like, no, nah, oh, screw it. I don't need to worry at all. I'm just going to just assume everything's going to be great. <laughs> Put the bow basher in there. Ack flare in the front one. And I'm like... You know, I really should put that infantry guy in the first building to shoot out the KB. Yeah, that's totally what I'm going to do. And I'm like, am I in range to service both of them? And I'm like, no, I'm not. I need to back further. I'm like, yada, yada. I'm like, ooh, yes. So I, I'll move them here. After I pause, I'll move it here. Because you put it over there. I want to put it right here. Want to, um, but it'll try to come from the left and not follow the road. It's like uh, same thing with putting anything in this area. It'll want to come this way. It it'll want to come this way. And I'm like, yeah, I can move. Yeah, I can move this guy in here and back after killing KB before the Ackflare 
Afclair uh, gets there. So I'm like, do, 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 do. everything's fine over there? Great, great, perfect. Everything's fine. <laughs> make sure, make sure I'm not tunnel uh, tunnel visioning. And the nice thing is, hear that? That's my other pentagon grenaders shooting at these guys. So that that was pretty cool. That was good timing. And aligning, firing. Watch. It doesn't die. I'm like, oh god, what, 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 what? <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> Firing and boosh. And again, oh, there it goes. So two shots. Dead. It felt like there was three shots. It's like, what? <sighs> yeah. And at that point, once that died, I'm like, yeah, no worries. Now, I do make a mistake here. I make the mistake of, because I've had, um, I've been playing, um, which one was I playing? A 20th pan, uh, another division that had, um, uh, I think it was Tatra that had uh, the Jag Panzers fours and I, was trying I you can see me placing unloading my uh, my uh, pack 88 into light woods uh, the location where I'll I'll usually put my long range like like the Nash horns or the jag panzers place it right there yep it's pretty funny I'm pretty sure I don't realize that's my error at all until uh, after it's unloaded. Anyways. Yeah, I'll usually put uh, anti-aircraft here, um, motors here and here, but I've been moving them up more aggressively towards the front over here. So this is my new typical location for motors. And yeah, I'll put a pack. I'll move it up here. I'd like to move it here, but I've had these pot shotted before. So that's the other 88 going that way. I'll most likely put it here. Yeah, at this point, nothing uh, much of note really happens. <laughs> I think this is completely out of ammo. Look, I think it's out of ammo completely. So I'm like, oh, so I send it to join this one. Yeah, and I think I motor this area, which turns out to be really hard to d kill anything. It, it was really annoying. Yeah, unload. <laughs> Derp. And then I, good thing is I, I, I've shifted, shift fast move the, the truck out of the way because sometimes I'll not, I'll forget to do it. And uh, five minutes later, some long range shot takes it out. And I'm like, no. So. And you're switching out the one without ammo for the one with. Just refuses to die.
yeah, just throwing in guys. Oh yeah, and I move my, uh, I move this one and this one forward to here. And I don't see it in the video, but when I played the replay at the last dying seconds of the game, uh, this flak and this were doing enormous damage to infantry in the crossroads. Not the scariest division I've faced. All these are Discord recommended, the ones on the Discord recommended decks, so, or deck per, uh, per division. KV. Huh. So it did take out the KV. So it'll shoot. It's 50 millimeter with bounce, but then it shoots its guns and kills it, its target. Just fascinating. Yeah, I'll usually do this uh, at the end of a recording just to make sure the uh, the replay was uh, was without bugs and. Uh, reflects what actually happened. So it's 17.35 minutes long, the battle, and when you see the video, it's 17. So that's four minutes times three, because I had it one third speed, so 12 minutes. So it takes me 12 minutes to set up, which isn't too bad considering I'm rethinking how I do my deck all the time and how I do my deployments all the time. Oh, that's hilarious. I'm trying to interact with the replay. Yeah, I'm like, KV, IS, IS1 and KV, God, gross. Ugh. And I'm looking over here going, oh, really? There was just that <laughs> and I'm zooming in I'm like that doesn't look like much it's it's funny because you imagine this horde coming at you because it just feels like a horde sometimes but uh, yeah. so it's interesting because th this will be pretty much it for them trying to get in troops on the on the right side because it's or their right side my left because I just shut it down so hard with that armored car it's pretty cool. Well, not with that this armor car. Uh, I play it safe with this armor car, putting it right here. But this one just chops that right in half. Look at that. So that's all they'll get. That is all they'll get for this area. Yeah, I'm starting to realize how important it is to be aggressive. rip yeah I don't like those snipers I hate those snipers <laughs> I'm like oh man watching my doom approach there it goes, my army car. Yay, go little buddy. You have no idea what's in store for you. Sorry, my apologies. Boom. Yeah, I'm like, oh man, I missed it. But yeah. Definitely replay that sucker.
Yeah, I have some fun zooming in on stuff that I think is interesting that's going down. But, uh... Yeah, it's fine. Let's, uh... Let's do uh, playback speed faster. Faster. Okay, it's not too disorientating. Let's be over in less than 10 minutes. Yeah, see, they're falling back, right? So there's it's just a flamer, guardia, and a machine gun. And yeah, the, la uh, the former two die pretty quickly. You know, I was like, man, I should have pushed, but I didn't know. Uh, so, yeah, I don't judge myself for what I know now. I judge myself for what I knew then. And it's just, yeah, play it safe. Too many times I've yoloed right in the face of some nasty opposition. Boom. Yeah, I'm like, what? <laughs> Be aggressive. Be eat. Yeah, this would be the be the theme song for uh if I play it it'll be copyrighted. You never know um, when they get really strict in copyright. Sometimes they'll uh, delete your video. It's happened rarely, but... So I'm like, what was the AI thinking? I'm like, ah, fuck. Armored car goes, brrrr. And I'm like, wow, that looks really inaccurate. <laughs> yeah, pew pew. Woohoo. So I'm like, I'm trying to judge when my plane strike's gonna happen. And we know it doesn't happen right now. Yeah, it's. I wish we could. Uh, there was an ability to drag this so we can get it to a certain spot um, instead of actually having to watch the entire video and you can't go backwards. So it is kind of annoying. So I'm looking for the skies. Going. When do I send my plane in? Boom. Like, was that it? Was that it? No, this is this is a scout plane. I'm like, meh. Yeah, good luck attacking me, buddy. I'm like, oh no, my weapons are jammed. That's that's a terrible thing. I'm like, okay, where's the plane? Like, the plane's got to happen anytime now, right? So I'm, like, slowing it down, going. All right, let's slow this down. Normal speed. No, this is the scout. I'm like, what the hell? Where's my plane? I'm like, okay, it's going to happen anytime soon, right? Right? <laughs> counter battery, counter battery. Deal with that damn mortar.
And I take it out, right? I take it out, but there's another mortar coming, so I don't see that, of course. Did I kill it? No, it's still alive. Damn it. Uh, so annoying. Oh yeah, baby. Ah, I miss seeing it get taken out. Damn. Too slow. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, I love watching the planes. So I'm like, aha, you're gonna die. Let's watch the victim. <laughs> believe I didn't take the the left flank because <laughs> I cut off the enforcement uh, route so there couldn't have been much there I just didn't know how many didn't know how few are all right and I'm like ah. and I think it's coming from this direction I'm like where's it come from but I forgot I just recalled it from boom bam, bam, bam. so that was the bounce and then he shot it more and it died like really interesting like why would the lesser calibers not bounce as well right but yeah that was fun bit absolutely yeah and we're we're back to the pretty much where we were before so ID-33. I did just, as you can see, it does great work, but it's like, you know. Nah. I love watching that thing happen. Do I kill it? Do I kill it? Yeah. Spoiler alert, I think I do. Or I don't. Damn it. <laughs> I think I do. <laughs> it's like, aha. No, oh, you're dead. So, okay, so... I'm pretty sure it took three shots. Let's see of the Panzerfaust. So... There we go. One, two. All right. Okay, just two. It felt like three, <laughs> like forever. It was like, oh my god. You know what I'm saying? Okay. What was that? Oh right. <laughs> Shooter killed. Screw you, AA. Boom. Huh. Yeah, and I watch this and going, oh, I can't believe I didn't kill them. It's like, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, it's so annoying. That's when I zoom in on the replay of these guys just tearing stuff up. It's like, woohoo! Right on. Yeah. <laughs> yep. There's that. Do do do. Okay, this is 4th edition. And I go in, copy it. And I'm like, yeah, this is good enough. Uh, I think I'm happy with this one. 
I haven't actually played a game with it yet. This was earlier today. But, uh, yeah, okay, get rid of that. Goodbye. I'll miss the, uh, the supply trucks in phase A, but I think it's a price worth paying. So I go, what the hell? I put in flamers. Spoiler alert. So yeah, I'm like, what do I do? What do I do? I'm happy. I got three pointers. All right, so. Now, do I want to add a third card of Stugs? No, let's not get stupid. So I'm like, mm, what do we do? What do we do? Come on, put in the flamers. That's a good boy. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. There you go. And you don't need to vet those because pff, you want them to freak out and run. And you just... Now I get rid of the uh, Bio Basher. I'm like, yeah, it's pretty good. What do I need to get rid of? And I'm like, Bio Basher, bye bye. Because I don't, honestly, I don't need it. Oh, right. And uh, I'm like, okay, I need to put in a phase A airplane, but I need to take away the card. Like, this is really important. I have this option in phase A. Super freaking important. So I'm like, okay, uh, what card do I not use a lot? Or that it's kind of, yeah. <laughs> it's like, I've had you around forever, but it's time to say freaking goodbye. Because I've got leaders, and they've got radios. And they do the same thing as artillery spotters. And then that's all the artillery spotter does. Add a radio, and that's it. There's no bonus for having it observe a target so i'm like see ya phase eight there you go done and then later on uh i think at the beginning of this video duh <laughs> i go let's and this is just me trying to figure out eventually um how to use paint um but yeah uh switching out the uh ig for ig18 for uh, a pack um 50 millimeter and then i think i go to the draft version and realize that it no nope. yes no nope. what do i do i just checking the integrity making sure uh I haven't overwritten anything. Get that right. Get that. And I think I set this as, yeah. All right. And then I go blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah. Screw exact income. Exactly. And I go into the replace. And I want to find, now at this point ago, uh, fastest, I was like, wait a minute, I didn't check my, uh, check my waypoint system. So I'll place my units that I want, and then I'll group them up together. And then I'll set the waypoints for everybody. You can see me setting it there. And there you go. So this has taken nine minutes. So that's nine minutes already. Coming up 12 minutes there. So almost 12 minutes, so that's pretty good. So I'm just following the... Uh... <laughs> uh, following the armored car. It's a Valkyrie ride to uh, Valhalla. Rider of the Valkyries, yeah, big time. <laughs> Rip. Yeah, who cares about that fence in that cemetery, stupid priest? 
Yeah, initially I put the, uh, uh, the, um, the Panzer Grenader infantry into the church, and then I moved them out, uh, for the, uh, half clear. dun da 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 And I don't even notice this happening. Um, I'm, I'm, my screen is elsewhere, unfortunately. Sorry, buddy. Did you a big disservice. I'm like, what's that? Yeah, it's just a MG Jeep. And yeah, that's where I take the uh, screenshot. And that's that. All right. Uh, hopefully that was uh, informative of my thinking as of late. But yeah. Um, now, of course, to timestamp it, uh, am I missing anything? Nope. I added everything. Everything's good. Uh, let's just do the evolution. I don't think I've done that. So, This is the third version. This is the fourth version. And the fifth version is on my second screen, which you can't see. So yeah, uh, definitely will, once I'm happy with this and I play a game with this, I will go and see if I can transliterate it back to the 20th Panzer. Yeah, I'll go, can I transliterate this back to this one and then once i've gotten this equivalence i'll go back and see if i can make tatra equivalent as well um, and that'll be interesting uh just to see is there a division for my playstyle, I I love Twenty Fifth Panzer Grenader because it's got two cards of the artillery artillery I want. Um, so I'll probably stick with this, but I'll you know one has to experiment, right? Just in case something else is better. Uh, I definitely like the uh, fifty millimeter cannon, though it bounces, which is weird. Like sometimes it'll shoot and kill something right away. But if it doesn't, the follow-on guns will, which is bizarre as hell. Um, like I said, it's probably using a different mechanic for uh, the latter than the former. Okay. Uh, that pretty much covers everything. Uh, my concept, of course, is, uh, if you haven't noticed, is artillery. I love my accurate artillery and will do everything possible to counter battery the hell out of stuff and use my mortars to kill the AA. That's the plan. And of course use my decoy plane to find out where everything is. So my uh, my ground attack planes can have their way with things, which is the which is my concept. Uh I'm not sure how well that's gonna play in multiplayer, but for now I'm gonna push it to the two handicaps uh, that the two handicaps I'm giving the AI is 
um, third speed. I go uh, one third speed, and I think that's it for now. Oh, right, and the other one is that I haven't done random maps yet. I've, I've done it a bit, but not to the extent that I need to to in order to play multiplayer, get a feel for the maps. Otherwise, I'm going to be spending half an hour going, ah, just give me another minute to set up, and the battle takes five seconds, right? So, yeah, just knowing my maps, that'll be it. Yeah, but that'll be my next step. Um, before I go normal speed, I'll go random maps and check those out as much as possible. Just just random maps and just just check out the locations and get a feel for different stuff I need to do and whether I need to rethink my deck and yada yada. But oh yeah, obviously. But yeah, so far it's feeling pretty good. And, uh, and that should, should bring us up to speed on where I'm at. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Uh, and the wife's off, uh, vac on a vacation for a week. So yeah, I can be as loud as I want uh, for as long as I want. <laughs>